It's your boy Noto coming to you another video, coming to you another podcast, man. And in today's podcast, we're gonna talk about blued out expectations, man. Delusional blued out expectations. How women are delusional, bro. And I'm gonna go ahead on and play a clip for you guys from the Big House podcast. I, I believe is what it's called. You'll see the name of it. And when we get back. We definitely gonna chop it up and see what, and I'm gonna tell y'all how I feel about this whole thing, and we just gonna get down to it like that, guys. So here you go. I will say this though, just because you fly don't necessarily mean you. So I'm gonna say that. What it mean? That don't mean we. It means if you want crazy, to you wanna fly me out to where you at? Okay, let's hang out. Let's let's kick it. Let's let's chill. I'm not gonna get. Uh, oh, you bought we. You need to also pay me. You don't just get my flight in my hotel. You gotta pay you for the to... well. Hey, well, I'm sick. Yeah. 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 You fly me out. You pay for everything else. You got to else? pay me plus rooming for travel. You, fly, you flying to uh, f ain't you? Scary. You yeah, flying to me out to f supposed to be a hotel room. You lie. think I'm coming back at a f Why? Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nobody in the hotel. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I, can do that. I thought you liked it. That should make a what do you mean you thought I liked you? So, <laughs> I do, you cool, but what else? So I gotta, so, oh, oh, oh pause, I love it I pause. Love the fuck out of so I gotta, got that, you gotta like me and I still gotta pay you the f But why not? I, I mean, I'm coming, I'm, I, first of all, I'm leaving where I'm, from where I'm at. I'm you see guys, I don't even have to say much to tell y'all how delusional and how uptight that sounds because of the expectations is, I'm not supposed to do nothing. I'm, I'm just supposed to come enjoy, kick it, and chill, or, or whatever, when money is being spent, right? But the thing is, looking at it, I can tell that there's a main reason you would know that a dude would want to fly you out. That's plain and simple. It, no, let's, let's even go even further down. Let's go further back. You would know, any woman knows why a dude would even approach her in the first place. Let's start there. Let's start there. You have to be some type of attracted to that woman, sexually attracted to that, because we, we see with our eyes. Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. We see with our eyes and they know this. They know this. And to be honest, whenever a dude approaches you, you know damn well we want to do something. We want to do something sexual. We, we know it. They know it and we know it. So for them to just go ahead on and just say, oh, just because you fly me out, don't mean we gotta, we get, we, we gotta uh, smash. That is this delusion. That's bull. That's bull. And the thing is, I know what's really messing it up. I know what it is because I've heard this from a uh, from an acceptable from an acceptable prostitute once before that dudes will spend money just to hang with them. And those are the dudes. Those simp's are the ones that mess it up for us. Those are the ones that mess it up for us, bro. Because they're giving them literally giving them something for nothing. Well, just for attention, but for them, it ain't, I guess it ain't nothing. Oh, we just companionship. And there's the hell with all that. Nobody want no damn companionship. We want to smash. We want some nookie, man. We want some cookie. Straight up. And for them, if the, the, the girls say that, okay, don't mean we're going to smash, but we're just going to come up and chill. We're not finna, we're not coming over there to chill. First off, those photos that you posting online that I know that are provocative in some type of form or fashion, you were using that to, as bait to attract the dudes. So you're using sexual images. You, you're using sexual imagery to attract these dudes. But you, but in, in turn, you don't want a dude to expect to get sexual favors from you. Come on, look at the look at look at the image you're putting out. You're not dressing up classy as in, as in somebody with wifey material or something like that. You can even tell that's not the way you're presenting my, yourself because somebody's coming in your coming in your uh, inbox just trying to make you just to fly you out just to smash. Most likely they ain't gonna come at you like that. I ain't gonna say that the girls that are dressed classy don't get come out like that. But at the same time, a dude ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? They gonna know what, what the deal is. They gonna they know what something that look like that look easy, that look like he can be bought, and the energy that's being presented, whatever platform they're using to attract those, to get those leads. This is really all it is. And they're looking at all these dudes' wallets. You heard the girls say that, oh. Uh, you gotta pay me too. You gotta pay for the room and board. Pay me too. I gotta leave where I'm at just to come over. Of course, you're gonna leave where you are. You're being compensated. The, the fact of being flued out is, of course, I'm covering. I'm covering everything. But then, in, in turn, you making it seem like you flying out on a project or something. Like, oh, 
I'm playing, I'm paying this, and then I got to give you extra spending money to come over. No, and then expect not to do nothing. See, that's the, that's the extra delusion that I'm talking about, bro. That's the that's the extra delusion. See, like the thing is, if we would have swap, if we would have swap it, right, and say that oh you got to give us, you got to give us the the cat, and you and you don't get nothing for it. Oh, it'll, it'll be guns blazing. Lemon juice and I, it'll be razor blades and lemon juice then. But now that all of a sudden you want, you basically want, you want to be able to get all the money, all the amenities of a girl that's smashing a man that should get for, and you want to be compensated with all this for nothing. And you just want to come over there and just chill. No. This, this ain't no sugar daddy with no sugar around here. You're going to have to give up something. Straight up. You're going to have to come up off that. And that's the delusion right there. It ain't no, okay, we're just going to make you another man. Of course, a woman don't have to do what she doesn't want to do. But, but the expectations and with, with, the, with the message you're sending and with the imagery that you're presenting, you know damn well what's supposed to go down if you're doing all this. Man is not going to do all this for nothing. You know what the main goal is, and y'all just trying to withhold that and try to get that for free and think somebody is a sucker, but as soon as somebody rebel or you get these videos of leaving you down there and all that, that's why they want the leverage now. Say, oh, you send me the money. That's why the girl was like, oh, you send me the money so they can book their own flights and have some money to go back just in case it go wrong because they know they finna go down there and try that man like that. That's why they want that leverage so they can so they can do that. I'm not saying that you just you can always have all the leverage and you can just trap the girls or whatever. Of course, I can get them a fail safe to uh, but I would book it to the point where okay, y'all can just go back. But I'm not gonna put the money in your damn hand. Nah, I'm not gonna put it in your hand. No, you can book your flight. You can have that. You can have it there so you can book your flight. But it, that's not gonna be your free money, especially if you ain't done nothing. You see what I mean? And that's the twisted. That's the twisted nature, and, you, and they they trying to. They're trying to exploit as many suckers as they can. That's that's what's funding this this bull. That's what's funding all this bullshit. It's the it's the simp's. They're funding it. A lot of these suckers doing all this, giving all them this money for nothing, for nothing at all. Now to the point where they just they just, they just up and just trying. You see how confident they were with that? You can tell that they you can tell that they've gotten some suckers before. A whole lot of suckers. For her to speak that mo that confident about that. She's got a whole lot of suckers like that. And the thing is, a lot of dudes, it's a lot of dudes like this too. And it's a lot of dudes that's funding it like this. They'll spend money, keep spending money on the girl in hopes of getting some. So that could be thousands and thousands of dollars. Months can go by and they still, still hoping for that one day they can smash. You see what I'm saying? And that's, that's what keeps this going. It's almost like a in-person, it's almost like a subscription, an ex very expensive subscription, but based upon hope. And you're getting nothing. And you're getting nothing out of it. Just being around a girl. If, 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 if that was the case, and the dude just wanted to hang around or, or whatever, he might as well just trick. At least he'll get what he want. He may as well trick and get the girlfriend experience or whatever and spend the night. That'd be way less. And if, that'd be way less. But the thing is, they want these extra baddies, which I didn't really, I'm not gonna judge or the girl, but I'm just saying that they just want these baddies that they see on the Instagram and really, that's the reason they'll fly them out because they don't really see them, I guess, on wherever they're searching for these escorts or whatever. So, okay, I'll give you that because most of these Instagram models are nothing but upscale escorts. Just keep it a buck. We all know this. It's not a secret. So, basically, they basically try to make as many hoops as, as possible for them, for you, yeah, for that experience. And a lot of them just playing, just like these girls, playing, playing. And it might end up coming across the wrong dude. Probably it could, it could be a rich hood dude, hood rich dude that came up off of drugs or whatever, don't understand no female nation, and, and he feel like he played them. Now all of a sudden we got a story of an Instagram model that's been missing or, or, or possibly killed behind this. I done spent all this money and he don't understand that, oh, they, they playing, but all he doing is he, they, he feel played. So now he want to retaliate. This is how stuff like that happens. Y'all playing with people's money and it's thinking that y'all are untouchable. And no, I do not condone none of that. I don't condone it, no, nor am I wishing it on it, on them either. But exhibiting this type of energy is, is what you're gonna, is what's gonna uh, conjure that. That's what's gonna make that happen. 
that's how those stories come about too. But you, of course, you got your lunatics in the world. But this right here, this kind of stuff right here, you can't play with people's money too. You cannot be playing with people's money and time, especially if. And then if you lead it on to how the girl was saying that, oh, you think I like you? No, nah, you 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 kill you cool like you. But what else? Yeah, so I mean, yeah, you don't like it, but you putting on the persona as if you like him, but you you leading on the wrong way. See, if you keep keep things up front, things would be way better. You know what I'm saying? If things were, if everything was just said, okay, what are the expectations from this? We just need to go head on them. It's almost like a rioter, bro. What's to be expected of this trip? Keep everything real up front. That way, a lot of this, a lot of this won't be going on. It won't be no BS mixed up. We know, we know what we are here for. We can enjoy the, all the bells and whistles, but at the end of the day, we know this is what we here for. And they know damn well that's what they want. Why there be none of that going on? But with so many suckers in the world, they can do this as much because there's so many suckers that wouldn't even be coming close to any of this type of any of this type of knowledge of knowing that they they so used to controlling dudes that. They, they, it's like you don't have to deal with a dude like us that understand that, oh, that's boys. I ain't got to deal with that. Most likely, they ain't going to want to deal with dudes like with mindsets like us, especially if you're watching my channel, you understand how, how, how I operate. So we ain't none of that getting packed and slipping. Ain't none of that slipping through the cracks around here. Not with us. Not on this channel. But, guys, man, understand, man. They, they out for blood, bro. They definitely out for blood and they draining pockets. They and they just they, they're just taking advantage of suckers every day and making it way, way harder, man. For the real J ones, for the real ones. But at the end of the day, we still ain't gotta worry about it either because we know how to discern and get them the hell out of up, out of the way. So we ain't gotta worry about going through that. We know the signs, man. You know the telltale signs and the ones they trying to hide, the little games they playing. Keep on watching. I'ma just go on and start dissecting, guys. But anyway, it's your boy Noto. Coming to another video, man. Coming to you with more content, man. I appreciate the subscribers. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the feedback, man. Y'all keep on watching. Run it up, man. I'm out.